Welcome back to Stranger Palooza. I'm Hank Strange. Today, Lola and myself, we are in Middlebury, Indiana. We're at the Coachman Factory. We're hanging out with Josh. What's up, Josh? What's up? Welcome to Stranger Palooza, my friend. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I appreciate Crash it. Crash course time. <laughs> so listen, Coachman and Josh is actually going to show us in the Class B section. We're looking at Class B vans here, camper vans. So we're going to look at the three chassis that Coachman has available. Now, obviously, that would be Mercedes. Then we've got the Ram Pro Master, Mercedes Sprinter, and the Ford Transit. And we're not going to show every model, right? But you no. guys, you have three models out here. I figured, let's jump in and take a look at those. Perfect day for it. Absolutely. So what do you do? First of all, what do you do at Coachman? I'm the Northeast and Midwest Regional Sales Manager, so I cover any state in the Midwest and everything in the Northeast and oh, cool. parts of Eastern Canada. Awesome. So there you go. So you, some of you out there have probably met Josh yeah, before. So let's do this. We've got three chassis, like I said. How do you view the three chassis, first of all? So we have three different brands mm -hmm. in the B-Van division. We have Galleria, which is on our Mercedes platform. Mm -hmm. and you can get that rear-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. We also have the Nova that's on the Dodge platform. It's a little new, that's our newest product, all front wheel drive. And then mm -hmm. we have the Beyond, which is the Ford Transit, and that's offered on the all wheel drive and rear wheel drive platform. Yeah, so just to give folks uh, an idea out there, the thing with the uh, ProMaster or the Nova, let's say for example, you know, if you, it's it's lightweight and it's front wheel drive, so it can it can go a little bit. I see people mm -hmm. going out on the beach and doing a lot of different things with it, right? Absolutely. It's, yeah, yeah, so let's start off with that one. So this is the Nova. This is actually our 20C, so it's our newest floor plan. It was just the 20RB. The 20C is going to mock exactly floor plan for floor plan what was in the 22C. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so this is 20 foot yes. uh, in length, right? And I think these are a little wider than the other chassis. A little, a little bit. bit. It, yeah. is, it is shorter, so it's a little more nimble. It's front-wheel yeah. drive. It's got a shorter cab. A little bit easier for people to drive, especially for first-time RVers. That's what I hear. Our, it's going to be our price point coach, so if you have an RV and you are interested in a B-Van, this might be a good one for you. Yeah, so this is where everyone will start. So mm -hmm. here, we'll follow you. Let's go through it for so the it, folks out there. So uh, as we head inside, the galley here is to the left. This particular coach has an induction cooktop. You can do the induction cooktop or the LP cooktop. It has a big bowl uh, stainless steel, steel sink so you can clean those pots and pans. You have a spice rack behind here. The thing that's nice about all of our product, whether it's Beyond, Nova, or Galleria, uh, you're going to get all the same cabinetry, the same countertops, the same stainless steel sink, mostly the same options. Uh, the only option that you don't get on here is the that you can get on the other floor plans is the 13.5 AC it is standard and you can't option up to the 20,000 BTU AC okay. uh, 12 volt. The 12 volt AC. So this is a 12 volt. No, this is gonna it's be, not. This is gonna be 110. So you only get a 110 13.5 kAC in here. Okay. You have the option in the Beyond and the Galleria both for a tw uh, 12 volt AC. And is this a lithium model? This particular one is not. It's not. With, it comes with the AGM battery. Okay. It's a 330 amp hour AGM battery. Both the Galleria and Beyonds that we have here have the lithium system, and that's mm -hmm. a 600 amp hour battery. Okay. So let's say for example. Can you get this in a lithium model? You can. So okay. on all three brands and all any floor plan, you can option the lithium okay. system. And if you got lithium, is it the same with the air conditioner? I'm sure someone out there is asking right now, like, okay, so if I got lithium, do I still have a 110 air conditioner? Yes, you would still have you the do. 110 air conditioner, and the 3,000 watt inverter will be able to power that 110 mm -hmm. uh, air conditioner. You'll get anywhere from five to seven hours, depending on where you're at yeah. and what you're using. If you do the LI3 with the 12 volt air conditioner, you're gonna get somewhere around the 10 hour range. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, I actually converted, which we'll talk about in other videos, mm -hmm. to lithium, and I but I have a, a 110, so. It's all it's and I think it's awesome. This is the same quality furniture mm -hmm. that um, that Coachman gives in here. Is it the same size bathroom? Can we take a look at that? Yeah, absolutely. Let's take, yeah, let's start with friend. the bathroom here. Yeah, we're just going through this real quick, guys. But I'll show you. I'll show everyone real quick in here. But we'll come back and we'll we'll go through um, these things. But I'm sure folks want to see the bathroom. It's so very similar in size from bathroom to bathroom. If you mm -hmm. go through our plant, which you have done before with Nick, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you'll see a lot of the same products used across the board. Yeah. Uh, we do that, it helps streamline some of our production, keeps the quality up. 
and lets us move things a little yeah. bit more smoother. Aren't so we? real quick here before we uh, let's come back. Uh, let's go back there actually and show people where they will be sleeping. I just want to show people some details so that they get you know if they're interested in this, we'll do a specific video on this layout. So here this bed goes down the same way. I'm gonna turn the battery disconnect on. Okay. Um, so it's right behind your head. Yeah. So in this cabinet here is where all the all your switches are going to be so okay, everything's going to be operated here. right out of here. Yeah. Solar, LP, Wi-Fi. So mm -hmm. we do pri provide a uh, Wi-Fi Ranger, it's Sky Pro, oh, um, cool. that you can. If so, if there is Wi-Fi around, mm -hmm. you'll be able to hook up to that Wi-Fi. But you can also go to your uh, cell provider and get a, a, a Wi-Fi hotspot port. Oh, okay. But right here's our battery disconnect, so that'll connect on. everything. And then it's actually an electronic bed. Okay. So that'll electronically go down, and there's a switch that's right above the TV. Here, I, uh, where was it? Right above the TV underneath the cabinet. Underneath the cabinet. Right here, oh, there you go. So here, that down. I'll, I'll work that for you guys so you can see this real quick. It's a switch you do have to hold down, so it's just gonna roll back. Roll there you switch. go. And then you can use these, just like in any of our other floor plans with the sofa in the back, you use your jump seats to uh, make the bed. Full. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, we'll give you guys more details on this. I just wanted to give everyone a, a quick look. Easy, like, as Josh was saying, easy to drive. And uh, all the modern stuff up here, including, uh, this looks like it has the rear view camera, right? Yeah, by the time we get all our chassis this year, we should have uh, any of the upgrades that Dodge is providing. So your parking assistance, your rear view backup camera, mm -hmm. uh, blind spot monitoring. So when you go over, a triangle will actually show up in your mirror. So it's not gonna be something that shows up in your dash, but it will show up in your mirror, so it will. Okay. So it's gonna have some Parking Very cool. And then this has, just like everything else, there's an awning out here. Yep. Carefree awning mm -hmm. uh, with the wind sensor in there. You're also going to get, a, on this particular model, you will get a ladder and a rack on your mm -hmm. Beyond and your Galleria. You do not get a ladder. Yeah, so you've got extra storage up there. There's solar panels up there too? Correct. 220 yeah. uh, volts of, or watts of solar panels. Right, plus a generator. Yep, so you get okay. a generator standard. On all of our coaches, as long as you don't option the lithium system, mm -hmm. you'll still get that 330 amp hour battery. Then you'll get the gas generator on the Nova and the Beyond. And since uh, Mercedes is diesel, you'll go with a propane generator. Oh, okay. And then this has that like quiet generator. Correct. Okay. Awesome. Cool. So next one we'll do here, we'll, we'll, here's a look at the Beyond. This is a lithium model. Yes, sir. Yeah. And this is the new, the new one I could tell because everything's color coordinated up here, color match. So the bumpers are painted, so that's yeah. how you can tell that it's a new 2021 chassis. Yeah, and that's from Ford, right? Yep. So if you have issues with that, you can go to Ford. And Correct. They can, Same uh, with our Mercedes. So mm -hmm. that that is going to be our stealth package, and we mm -hmm. can talk about it more when we get down there. But on all of our Mercedes, any of the plastic cladding there along the side, the plastic trim is all painted from Mercedes. So if you ever do have a paint issue with us, you can take it to Mercedes and have oh, it. Oh, that's cool. That is, a, that is a cool thing, yep. yeah. Because if they don't do it, <laughs> yeah. you have an issue there. It's, like, well. it's a Mercedes certified thing. Yeah. So obviously all of these are the 2022s. Tell us about the Beyond. And, you know, what would be, why would someone look at the Beyond, let's say, over the Nova since we're, we're stepping up here? Yeah, so if we're going from the Nova to the Beyond, you're going to get a little more headspace. It's going to mm -hmm. be a little bit bigger. It's going to be a little peppier as you're driving down the road. Mm -hmm. uh, you're also going to have the all-wheel drive feature. You have either chassis platform. You can do all-wheel drive or real-wheel drive. A lot of people are optioning for the all-wheel drive option, uh, and that's full-time all-wheel drive. Mm -hmm. And it's just a, a little bit bigger cab, so it's gonna be a little, for anybody that's a little taller, it's gonna be a little bit easier for them yeah. to drive as well. So it's 22 feet long, I think, yep, right? A little bit longer. Yeah, and then higher in here, uh, like clearance. Yes, sir. So uh, the inside mm -hmm. is gonna be clear, uh, taller. So if you are a little bit taller person, you're gonna have more room in this up and down. Right, and you've got a, several different models in this. How many How many models do you guys have? We have three. We have a okay. 22D, 22RB, and a 22C. Okay, so the RB I know is rare bath. Mm -hmm. That's the one we have. What are the other two? The 22D is what we're gonna walk into right now. So you mm -hmm. have two twin beds on either side, mm -hmm. and you can fold them down into a king bed. Or it, the 22C is gonna be very similar to what we just walked through, the 20C, mm -hmm. same exact floor. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Go ahead, I'll follow you. Okay. All right, so I've actually done some videos on this for anyone looking at the video. Uh, I did a video on this one at Sunshine State RV, and so Nick and myself have done a video on it, but as we're doing in all of these, we're gonna go through quickly and let Josh tell us about the, the major you know differences here in this one. From here to Nova, again, you're gonna see a lot of the same products. So you're gonna see that same 
Uh, solid surface countertops, these same real wood cabinets. Uh, bathrooms can be very similar, so same folding doors. Mm -hmm. Corner bat or corner shower, you're also get gonna get the shower miser, uh, which is offered on all three of our floor plans. So the shower miser, what that does is it helps, it bypasses the uh, faucet, you can bypass the faucet so your water heater can actually heat up. And once okay. it does heat up, you can see this blue button here right next to the faucet, the faucet, that blue button will actually turn gray. Oh, and okay. That, is that on the rear bath now? Uh, no, it is not. Except so the rear yes. bath does not have that, Correct. right? Okay. <laughs> um, but you will see that on these floor plans, the C, okay. the D, the other and two. anything in the Mercedes floor plan. Okay, very nice. Once that heats up, you can turn it back and it goes to the faucet and your water is warm and ready for a shower. Okay. And in here, you over the uh, rear bath as well, you get a bigger fridge. Mm -hmm. Yes, you yeah. do get a bigger fridge, so it's a 12 volt fridge, it's a 7 cube fridge. You're going to have a freezer on the bottom here, and your refrigerator up top. Mm -hmm. You do have a microwave up above that, vented up above that, max mm -hmm. air fan. And this is going to be your 12 volt uh, turbo 2 Premier AC. Okay. So this is what's going to, if you have a 12 volt or if wondering what a 12 volt AC looks like, you're going to have these two vents right here. Okay, and that's how you tell the difference mm -hmm. with it. Yeah, this is a really good layout. Just you know, Let's so much space here. you can use this almost as a the space here as a garage. You could put a put a actually you can put a motorcycle there if you really wanted to. Yeah, bikes, was, whatever you think you, uh, mm -hmm. whatever you think you can fit. You do have a table back here. I was actually working on my computer in here just oh. a little while ago, so yeah. it's very easy to work at. A uh, great uh -huh. workstation. Underneath here, there is a storage space. This is also where we keep our tops to fill in the bed section here. Mm -hmm. And then we have storage that runs from the back that you can slide things underneath as well. That runs all the way up to that first storage spot. So I did that as yeah. well. You'll also get a rear <laughs> yeah. gate on here. So if you do want to leave this back door open. Leave it some, nice. Yeah. yeah. On a nice day like this, just having circul air circulation is pretty good. And then you can store stuff under there, you said. So on this, the batteries, I think this has like lithionics batteries on this it. This does have lithium batteries. Yeah, on. are they in here somewhere? Yes, or? they'll be in here. And the best place to show you the actual lithium battery will be on the Mercedes. On the Mercedes, it's yeah. It's easily accessible on that 24A. These yeah. are actually screwed. It's underneath here. Yeah, underneath they're all. Here. And uh, so this is gonna be all electrical. There'll be plumbing underneath here, yeah. but it's screwed down. Yeah, very nice. So for this, um, yeah, whether, I think even if you have the rear wheel drive on the Beyond, you still get the dualies, obviously, yes, right? Sir. Yeah. Yep. So you that's get dualies. You get dualies on Mercedes and on your Ford, not on your Novos. Yeah. So that's a big benefit for anyone who's wondering. You know, you've got the dualies. That helps you like carry the weight and everything of the van, keep the whole van more stable when you're driving. And and I think these come with sumo springs. They do. Upgrade yeah. Sumo springs. Is it all the chassis that have the sumo springs? On all three chassis, you get the upgraded sumo springs. The only one that, that doesn't come standard is your four x four Mercedes, but we do have an option for that on our price. Sheet. Right, because it's a whole different setup with yeah. it being four x four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all of that helps with you know, and, and obviously we're driving something with a with a pretty much the same setup. It helps make it even more easy i think to drive right absolutely it yeah makes it a little more comfortable to drive while you're yeah on the road. yeah lola's driven it it's no different from driving an suv nowadays that's right yeah. i think yeah i grab these if i have to go somewhere on campus or go back and forth their plant i always run out and grab a transit yeah <laughs> i'm with you i'm with you they're awesome to get in, easy to drive around absolutely okay so now we're we're gonna step up here and if you guys like i said you want to see more stuff on the actual transit the beyond then just check out the channel. We've got a ton of those. As well as when it comes to the Galleria, we haven't gone over this particular one, so we'll do a complete video of it, but just tell us, Josh. So now over, you know, over the Nova, over the Beyond, why would someone go with the Galleria? So your Galleria is gonna be a little bit bigger. It's 24 feet. Again, you're gonna have a lot of head space in there, so it's a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. It's still nimble. You're gonna have a lot of space in there in the cab. Uh, and you're gonna get your features that you get with a Mercedes. You're gonna get the upgraded headlights. You're gonna get all the upgraded driving uh, accoutrements that people want while you're going down the road. And if you want a, a hey Mercedes, if you're going down the road and say, hey Mercedes, find me the nearest gas station, you have a GPS. It's just like your Hey Siri. You're gonna have a GPS that pops up and shows you the nearest gas station. You're gonna mm -hmm. choose from there. So a lot of driving accoutrements. You're gonna have two different uh, platforms to choose from: your rear wheel drive or your four wheel drive. Okay. The four wheel drive does sit a little bit higher, mm -hmm. so people like that to. Whether it's, I mean, you're off road and you're going boondocking, or if you just had want more uh, road clearance going mm -hmm. down the road, so you're gonna have three more inches, 
and basically all the way around. It's I think three inches up front, three and a half inches in the rear. Okay. On this particular floor plan, this is our 24A, so you're gonna have a bunk in the back. Okay. Um, so this is an extra two feet over yep. the transit. Um, and then yes, I like the I like this model because it does have the bunk in the back. Um, and then, as you were saying, you know, with Mercedes, you're getting a little bit more luxury and things like that that comes with the Mercedes. Um, I know Nick at Sunshine is always talking about the lights. You know, you've got some different, like, um, uh, this has the LED lights on it, I'm assuming. It does. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So what? So for the folks out there, I think the, the, the questions before we go inside the Mercedes that I always get with the Mercedes, people are always worried about if it's more difficult to get service with the Mercedes over the the Dodge, let's say, mm -hmm. or the the Ford, right? Because there's maybe more dealerships than that. What do you guys think about that? What have you heard from customers? We have Mercedes service centers all over the country, and then okay. you also have a van program where if you're somewhere at a campground, you can actually call Mercedes, and they can. There's some dealerships that are set up and have a van that will actually come out and work on it, oh. just like it was a like a traveling mechanic or a traveling RV tech. Okay, uh, so they could come out to you. Yep. And that's oh. all part of your registration and should be in your registration packet. Oh, awesome. Okay, maybe one of these days, because um, I never heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, one of these days I should do something on that and maybe meet up with those guys or something. Yeah, we should. Uh, yeah, I'll get you something that says yeah. that from our uh, Mercedes. Right? Yeah, that's great. So that's if you're worried great. about it, and I know that Mercedes now is uh, assembled here in the country, so I heard that, you know, you parts availability and stuff like that's a lot easier yeah you know so you just want to look into that and know where would be the closest service place to where you are yeah as with anything you always want to find especially in your local area you want to find your local service tech for your mercedes dealer <clears throat> and your mm -hmm. ford and dodge i mean mm -hmm. you always want to establish a relationship that and with your local dealer that way when you go in you can when you have a relationship they know your vehicle they know who yeah. you are and yeah uh, it's just easier to get and something. a quick tip i don't know if this exists with the mercedes but I'll say that this definitely uh, applies to Dodge and Ford. If you're if you're close to a city, typically in the city, it's more difficult, even at Ford and Dodge, to talk to those dealers. Just look for one that's outside the city, like in the country. Yep. And it'll be way easier to get appointments and stuff like that in there. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look inside. So this can be our 24A. Mm -hmm. It's going to have a bunk in the back and a desk up front. In the 24A, you're going to have three options in place of this desk, okay. uh, or two options in place of this desk. So you'll have the desk option, that comes standard, mm -hmm. and then you can do a jump seat, so it's just uh, basically a bench that'll sit about two people there. Okay. Uh, and then you just With have, seat belts? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. And then you'll have an actual chair, very similar to that, uh, mm -hmm. to one of your front chairs that will be wrapped, the upgraded seat covers on. Okay. Uh, the fabric will match the same as... So this is the way, and I know we did the How It's Made videos, and we went through a lot of the Sprinter or Mercedes chassis when we are doing that. I like this, because you have this, I'll go in. Yeah. You know, you have the table. <laughs> this could be your workstation if you're working out of your, your van like I am, and then you could spin this chair around. Table, you have storage yeah. underneath there. Uh, underneath that, drawers yeah. that pull out, but underneath that you also yeah. have a... Oh, doggy bowl, somewhere down here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There you go, the doggy the bell. TV up front. Yeah. Yeah. Will be all your control panels yeah. in that cabinet there. So come on in and and uh, point out the stuff to us here. So again, a lot of the same features. You're gonna see those same mm -hmm. solid surface countertops, similar bowls, spice rack, cabinets gonna be curved and all the same in here. Mm -hmm. Real wood cabinetry. Something I always like to point out that people just don't point out enough. I feel is. The construction of our <clears throat> the construction of our cabinets. If you look here, you'll see the dovetail construction. This is all real wood. This is gonna be something that you'd see in somebody's home. Mm -hmm. uh, this is gonna be something that it's nice. And that's in duty. all it's the vans. Hold, it's in all yeah. three brands. So it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be heavy duty. It's gonna hold up. If you do have pots and pans, you're gonna be able to put it in here and not have to worry about something going yeah. to the bottom. It's not yeah. simple on the bottom. Right. And just like Josh just showed there with the garbage can, that's something you don't see on every uh, van that's out there. Yep. It doesn't come with a with a garbage station or I don't know what you guys call it, but. Uh, just you know. a, yeah, just a trans trash can station. Uh, yeah. Why? And I and with all the videos that you've seen with Nick Recchio, one of the things mm -hmm. you'll hear him talk about is the feedback from our customers. That's mm -hmm. that's something we listen to mm -hmm. and we genuinely listen to. And if somebody says, "Hey, we really, we really think that this would be a great fit here," mm -hmm. we try to incorporate that somehow, especially if we're hearing it over and over and over again. Absolutely. And then let me just point out. I mean, I guess we could do it in the back or up front here. So one difference I I've seen. <laughs> 
from uh, doing a lot of stuff with these guys is it's the same it's the same fur furniture I think furniture quality and build but these uh, cabinets are a little bit radius right so you've got nice little curve on here just yep. a little extra touch you'll when see, you step up to Galleria right yep you'll see some flat panel cabinetry in the uh, in the Nova and the Beyond mm -hmm. uh, some with some glass fronts just like this and then here mm -hmm. you're gonna get these radius cab cur right radius curve any other cool little things like that for the folks out there who are watching and they're like okay what else cool extras do i get i have one that i could think of what can you well you are going to get some more you do have some options on here mm -hmm. that you can't get on beyond mm -hmm. or nova like vb air suspension so if you're talking mm -hmm. about ride quality mm -hmm. uh, and you're looking for a little bit nicer ride quality you can upgrade to vb air suspension vb air suspension okay mm -hmm. does this have a convection oven or a regular microwave oh it yeah. does check it out down convection here. right there a little bit easier to get to mm -hmm. it's down here below easy access and again you're gonna have your big fridge here the stealth oh, package okay so what are we looking at out here well i was talking about how we should talk about this is we're going over this is graphite gray which we don't yes. have anymore but you, oh you don't do the graphite gray no nope, this is a limited limited edition package we had oh okay um, the graphite gray was and then mm -hmm. this is the stealth package as well so the stealth package mm -hmm. you aren't going to get this plastic trim painted here mm -hmm. and you're going to get black steel wheels yes and okay. you and you'll save a little bit of money yep so it is on you, it you do get a little bit of a deduction there because uh, mm -hmm. you aren't getting the paint and you aren't getting the aluminum wheels the standard yeah. aluminum wheels yeah but everything else will come painted if you don't option the stealth package yes and if you guys want to see more i think we have a video with the stealth package <laughs> so this is something i think that you cannot get this on any of the other models, right? Do we need to turn the power on? Yeah, now? I was gonna say. Hey, okay, I meant to do that. So here, so yeah, you go ahead and do that. I'll just talk a little bit here to the guys. So um, my understanding is you cannot get a floor. You can't get a floor plan like this with this big bunk bed on any of the other models, right? Correct. Yeah. The only floor plan that you have that availability to do. Right. So you've got this big garage down here. We've we've shown. Oh, check this out. Look, Lola's gonna love that separately. Lola. You can raise yours up if you want, and I could be flat, yep. sleep in here. Oh, well, on top that's of nice. Able, on top of yeah. being able to uh, lounge and relax in here, I want to pull it up so you could see that what that lithium. Oh, battery here's the looks battery like. right here. So here's the lithionics package that's in here, and these are all what is it, 600 uh, amp hours? 600 amp hour batteries. Yeah. yeah. That are in here. And you may be able to see the BMS, the battery monitoring system, in there, right. and the inverter. You can see the inverter a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but that battery monitoring system is incredibly intelligent. It basically dictates everything that that battery does. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, well, if it gets too low, it shuts off. If it's too yeah. hot, it shuts off. And right there, if you go down, you can show the doorway. So from from on that side, there's a little pass through here, and you can get a little laundry basket. You can put your laundry underneath. You can make a, you know, you can make a. We did we did something like this on an older model in the past. And you actually have some storage underneath. Oh, you have storage under these also? Just, just right here. It's just like okay. a little bedside table that oh, flips cool. down underneath here. Okay, we'll go. We'll come back in and take a look at that. Be, uh, actually, that'll be in the more detailed video that we do of this. But I know, so when we did the How It's Made, and you can even see it here, Lola, there's aluminum, there's an aluminum frame. I'll come back out there. Okay. There's an aluminum frame that goes around this bunk bed here that I think is awesome. It adds more rigidity to the van. So I just think that whole, this whole thing is a really cool layout to me. I really like how this is. Personally, this is one of my favorite floor mm -hmm. plans. Now we have floor plans for everybody, the 24Q, the 24FL, right. and the uh, 24T. But this is personally my favorite floor plan. You have a ton of space underneath mm -hmm. here. So if you are going somewhere, you're going boondocking, you're going skiing, you're going camping, you got mm -hmm. a ton of space underneath here to, mm -hmm. to put, then you have a huge bed up here as well. It yeah. gives, you, gives you space to lounge with the electronic raising seats right very cool all right let's go to the let's go to the front of these vans and we're going to do the wrap up so in this thing there's this fold up oh, okay. and so you know you might have some devices you want to put in here mm -hmm. you know, safety in protection stuff awesome <laughs> all right guys so i hope you all enjoyed that i think i think i learned some stuff myself hopefully you all did so josh just uh just to quickly summarize here in the three different models for folks who are looking at this, what advice would you give them? Because you know, it's believe it or not, it's a little complicated for someone on the outside. What, how would you tell them to think about looking at it when they're making their choice? Uh, identify your needs. Mm -hmm. Look, think about what you're going to do when you're camping. 
some people they never see boondocking they never see going in off-road or into the mountains uh, mm -hmm. some people use this just to go bounce from city to city so identify what you're looking for I think that's yeah. great yeah Ident yeah, yeah who are you how many people yeah. uh, is it just gonna be you if, if so something like the like the Nova is awesome is it gonna be you know you're gonna have two people or four yeah I've had customers come through that uh, they've purchased a 24 Q mm -hmm. because they were toting their daughter's softball team around. yeah and that fits perfectly where you have a couch in the back and you have four mm -hmm. seats up front I've mm -hmm. also had single moms or single women coming by a dot of the promaster mm -hmm. uh, just an RV because it's just them mm -hmm. and it's just easier for them to drive yeah absolutely so there you go I hope you guys, like I said, appreciated this whole thing. Josh, if people want to find out more, where do they go to find out more about the Coachman lineup of uh, camper vans? Where do they go to find that uh, info out? You just go to coachmanrv.com, mm -hmm. and if you do ever want to talk to a rep, you can always call in or send in an inquiry, and we're very responsive, very accessible. Uh, that's one thing we really focus on, and we want to make sure as a manufacturer, as a division, that we're, our customers are able to reach us. And if they do have a question and they can't find it, they can talk to us personally. So you okay. can always send in an, in an inquiry to, uh, to for us to talk to you. Awesome. Okay, thanks, man. Absolutely. You do a great job you. there. If you guys want to know more, you can definitely leave some questions here in the comments and stuff like that. We'll see if we can get Josh or someone else over at Coachman to answer those for you. I'm sure this yeah. people are going to have tons of questions. Big thanks to Lola behind the camera, as well as Josh from Coachman for allowing thanks us again. to come through here. We'll see you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave the comments, all of that. We're out. Peace. <laughs>